welcome to another DIY science experiment session with me Khushi Gupta. So let's get started. So have you ever seen a video or anything else in which you found a tornado? Have you ever wondered how the tornado forms? No, right? First let's make one at our own house. Let's quickly move to our workstation and see how we can do this. The only material required for this experiment is a jar filled with water and a bit a little bit amount of detergent into it. Okay, let's perform an, our experiment. We have filled the glass jar almost completely with water leaving a small air space at the top of the jar and added a small amount of detergent. Ensuring that the lid is tight, grip the top of the jar and give the jar a quick shake up and bottom to get some bubbles to form. Now quickly swirl the jar around for a couple of seconds. The swirling motion is best done if bottom of the jar swirls wider than the top of the jar. Now what you can see? You should see a bubble tornado, right? Why does this happen? As you can see, a tornado in a jar. So, we just performed our activity and made one tornado, right? So, what is the science behind this? The main principle behind this is momentum. Second is centripetal force and third is friction. Let's watch a PPT and quickly understand what is this all about. Tornado in a jar. Science behind it. When you swirl the jar, you impart a force onto the liquid whereby initially the water pushes outwards against the glass. When you stop swirling the jar, friction slows the water touching the edge of the glass. The water is pulled into a funnel shaped vortex by a centripetal force which pulls the water towards the center of the jar. The water speeds up as it approaches the center of the jar due to the angular momentum of the water creating a vortex. This is all about momentum, centripetal force and friction. I hope you are clear with all the signs behind this activity. So perform this activity at your home. Do share your videos with us. Bye bye till the next time.